Hello, and welcome to the instructional series. In this video tutorial, I will give you a brief introduction to additive manufacturing workflow. On to the 3D experience platform. Specifically, additive manufacturing workflow, or you can say, AM workflow, is subdivided into the four roles. Namely functional driven generative designer role, additive manufacturing programmer role, additive manufacturing researcher role. And the last one is reverse shape optimizer. So let's start with the functional driven generative designer role. To do this, select 3D quadrant of the compass. Here, if you want to access different apps onto the platform, you need to assign respective roles. For example, if I click on this arrow which is next to the functional driven generative designer role, we can access these many apps for this role. And now again, click on this arrow and assign function driven generative role so that we can access to different apps related to this role. Next, click on the functional generative designer app. Now at the bottom of the window, click on exploration assistant from the action toolbar. This will make you pop up the design exploration chooser panel. And this panel will create a new simulation for a new app. And here, let's go with the default name. And click on create. So this is the user interface of this app. And at the left side of the window, you just see that the new simulation is created. Generally, this app is developed for topology optimization. And it is coupled with powerful and easy to use geometry reconstruction tool. And hence, we can see that simple workflow assistant panel on the right side of the window, guiding the user through setting up the design space, loading conditions and optimization targets and constraints. After the optimization is performed the user can generate optimize geometry with the help of concept shape command and perform validation study on this geometry. So next I will introduce you to the additive manufacturing programmer role. To do this, select V plus R quadrant of the compass. Then assign additive manufacturing programmer role. So that, we will get an access to powder bed fabrication app. Click on this app. Here you will see that new window has been popped up. With the user interface of the powder bed fabrication app, this app lets you define an additive manufacturing process, which covers all steps from preparing 3D objects on the build tray, to exporting output information file. So we are able to define the build layout and prepare the part for the additive manufacturing process. Further, it will be used to create support structure and generate slicing and scan path. Also using this app, we can analyze the scan path and export the part into a different output file. So next, I will introduce you to the additive manufacturing researcher role. Again, we are going to select V plus R quadrant of the compass. Then I will activate the additive manufacturing researcher role. And click on additive manufacturing scenario app. So this is the user interface of this app. And this app is used to define and perform the simulation of the additive manufacturing process. This app consists of an assistant panel which lets you define FEM setups like mesh, section properties, and connection. Adding to this, we can assign the laser path, roller path, and the cooling. So once we have done with our setup, we can run our simulation. Okay, so far we have reviewed three roles. And now I would like to introduce you to the reverse shape optimizer role, which is generally used for shape compensation. To do this, let us select 3D quadrant and activate reverse shape optimizer role. And then select virtual to real shape morphing app. So this is the user interface of this app. Basically, this is an established technology but we are finding that its capabilities are providing a lot of values into the AM space. So using this tool, we can morph a CAD object using process simulation distortion results and compare a deviation analysis of simulation results with experimentally obtained measurements. So this allows validating our process simulation distortion results with experiments. So in this way, we have successfully reviewed our four roles in additive manufacturing solution. And now, I will conclude my session. Thank you very much for watching this video.